So everyone's Pinterest is completely different to everyone else's, which is kind of why I love it. And to be honest, you never know really what you're gonna get. Could you get a cute house or could you get a really awful house that you never wanna look at again? Probably that is an option with Pinterest. It's totally random. Because if you didn't know, it's autumn and I love this time of year. How no one has told me yet to shut up about autumn? I do not know. So I've come onto Pinterest and I'm literally just gonna type in autumn home and I'm gonna build the first one that comes up. Ooh, this. This is pretty. Oh my god, look at the autumn colours, the leaves. Oh my god, this is stunning. So it looks as if it's like three stories high. Right, first I'm going to go into terrain and we're going to raise it just a little bit. The roofing in the back looks like this piece here. So I'm going to take that and maybe drag it that way and bring it down. I feel like getting the stairs right might be one of the issues we've because the stairs go there. I think this is smaller actually than I realized. It's almost like that big and then it's got another little stairs going down here but it's got more of a hill. Okay right we're gonna have to get the train in again. I'm terrible at this. I think we're just gonna have to trust the process with this one. I'm just gonna try and smooth it all out and hope for the best to be honest. Maybe if I add a little decking section that might make my life a tad easier. I think I've just made it a lot harder actually. Oh now it's not even classed as a room. This is not going well. Guess who's starting again? J just this took way longer than you think. On honest to god, this this was just the challenge, this. This was so bloody hard. But it's fine. I feel like I need to be filming this in autumn time. Hold on, we're changing the seasons. We've got to get it right. How do I do this? I won't lie, this took me a lot longer than I thought it would. It caused me a lot of stress, actually. The terrain and me do not get along. I can never get it to the right level, but from the outside, it looks cute. I literally fast forwarded the game so it'd be autumn time. So I'd have that nice glow and the plants would be nice and red and crispy. Honestly, the things I do for the builds. So inside the house, I didn't realize how tiny I actually made it. So we're kind of going to split it in half. But it's going to be like an open concept. And then upstairs is also tiny, but it's fine because tiny houses are cute and cozy. So we're on Pinterest and I'm just going to type in autumn kitchen and let's see what pops up. Can kind of got little sections of the kitchen, not so much the kitchen itself. But I mean, this is very cute. I can definitely do something with all this. Oh my God, look at the reef. <gasps> Oh, okay. So they've got white kitchen cabinets. I can definitely get some of them. That is beautiful. So I've added a little line through the middle so we know that the kitchen is just staying in this section over here. I feel like these ones from base game matched it the best, but we need a white one with like a brown top. And to be honest, is that going to happen in The Sims? Probably not. Let's see if the horse pack has got anything. Oh, okay. We've got this as an option. The house outside didn't have many windows at all, but I want to add one here above the sink. So I'm going gonna add maybe this one here from seasons and then i know that there is a reef somewhere that is orange we just have to find it or am i making this up so my brain has clearly made up that there is orange leaves going around like this i swear i've seen one maybe what we could do is if we add a small shelf going along here maybe not that one and then i'm gonna raise up some of the autumn leaves to the top of it i've deleted the shelves now and i think that looks kind of like it's attached to the ivy or oh, that's what i'm going for anyway i think it looks really cute so we're going for it you know if it looks a little strange and then and debug i want to go find the pumpkins and i want to add a teeny tiny one and they're going to need fairy lights because autumn is not autumn without fairy lights everywhere i mean they are not touching at all i am terrible at this right we need to line it up should i just like make a littler oh yeah that looks so much better okay and i do want to have my pumpkin spice coffee section of course so we're gonna go and add a coffee machine and tiny living does have this shelf here which is kind of perfect oh i never noticed it's got like a little cookie jar on there that's cute and the little tea bags and then they do have fairy lights so we're just gonna have to put more i'm kind of sad because i couldn't find any colorful coffee cups they're all white but i did find these in deep Look, it's like little thingies that you use to make coffee and you put the coffee in there. I'm not really sure how it works. I won't tell a lie, but it looks cute. There's also pumpkins on the side, like teeny tiny ones. So I need to add some of them. I think I've upset my game.
game. Can't find object. What object? I just want a... God. I just want a teeny tiny pumpkin. What object are you trying to find? Kitchen is completely done. I've added a couple more pumpkins. I put a bit more pots and pans as well. And over here, look how cute. The season's poster is sized all the way down. Like that's so bloody cute. I pop that in the corner there. And of course, loads of fairy lights. Let's do the living room, which is going to be this teeny tiny section over here. So we're going back on Pinterest. And I'm just going to type in autumn living room. Oh my God, this is so cozy. Look at this. Oh, I want this house. Look how high the ceilings are. Oh my God, that's beautiful. So sadly, I can't recreate the little peak in uh, the peak windows. Oh, they're beautiful. But I can add loads of windows and kind of get the same look, I'm hoping. Because we could stack these windows like that. Or does that look weird? Looks weird. What about if we stack the windows like this? Now this from the outside is supposed to lead into the garage, but I wasn't gonna put a garage in this house. So it's basically for the outside the course. So instead I could cover it with bookshelves and you wouldn't even know. The thing is in this section, it's a lot darker than the other section. So I might change the flooring or we could just add a load of rugs to get the same look. I don't see a fireplace in the photo, but there's definitely one in that house. I mean, look at it. So I might take this one from Cats and Dogs, actually. And then they've got like a really old chair. And I think we've got one that's similar in the game. This one here, this one, I swear this is like perfect. Or this one. Oh, this has got the cushions in, which makes it look so much cozier. And then the other one kind of looks like this one from the book nut cut. And then we can use this rug. Is that a bit too light? I feel like it's even darker. I mean, to be honest, we could kind of just double them up like this. It's got some fairy lights shocking above the bookshelves over here as well and it's got a lamp in the corner that kind of reminds me of the one from the vampire pack this one here. I swear it's got like five candles on the little poof in the middle as well, which is probably a health hazard. And then over on this side here, definitely going to need more candles. Maybe we could actually have a standing lamp. I also feel like plant-wise we need more. This one comes in the perfect autumn colours. Oh, like look how pretty that is. I am in love with this living room. I want to live here. Look how bloody cute it is. Oh my god, the books everywhere. Those candles, the lighting. I've deleted every single book builder light and this whole room is being lit by candles and side lights look at the tea look at the books i could honestly look at the fire i could spend hours in here just reading sounds bloody great i won't lie and for the purpose of downstairs looking as amazing as it is we are going to completely ignore this i'm going to hide it i don't know how yet but we will we'll manage oh god upstairs is a little bit of a mess isn't it let me just bring you back in it's fine it's fine we need a bathroom actually Hmm, where can I put said bathroom? I mean, I could always go like that. And then what can we fit in there? Books. <laughs> I mean, all we could, we could just make this... Oh, wait, can we bring this down a little? We could just bring that down a little. No, it's still poked through. Okay, never mind. We're gonna go back on Pinterest and we are going to type in autumn bathroom and see what comes up. I really don't know what this will look like. This is the first one that's come up. A couple of plants, obviously some autumn oranges and things like that. I feel like this is gonna be a simple one to do. Okay. Flooring wise, I know we've got similar tiles. It's whether they come in orange. We've got this one, but that's not really what I was going for. We've got this one from the high school pack. This is the one I was thinking of. We could go for this tile, actually. Oh, I don't know which one to go for. This is why it takes me so long to build, honestly. Now, in the bathtub, there is a little wooden shelf going across it. We take this little shelf here. The only issue is it's going to stick to the wall here. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to delete the wall and upset my whole game for a minute. Move the bath back there. And they've got some pumpkins and some cups on there. And sadly, we don't have any colourful mugs. That is something we need to do. If I ever was offered the chance to make a kit, it could happen one day, maybe a couple of years. You know, you never know. But I would definitely have some colourful mugs put in. So I'm going to shrink down the pumpkin and then I'm going to raise it up and it can sit on this little shelf. And there we go. We've got our little bath set up. That's actually really cute. This I just found in the toilet stuff and you just have to move it very closely to the bath while the waltz is gone, by the way, because otherwise it won't work. And she's got like a little wooden log in the corner here, but I 
don't know if I've got anything in my game to replicate that. Wait, what about the stump? Would that work? Oh no, I don't think this is gonna work. It's not that mossy, is it? I mean, actually, it's it's basically this, isn't it? Right, we're gonna go for this. Do you know what? I won't tell a lie. I am quite shocking at doing bathrooms. I always find them boring. So I think going on Pinterest really does help when building. Like, it's such a simple thing, but I think it just makes the bathroom look so much better. So we've basically got one room left to do, which is the bedroom. And then back here, I don't know if I want to make this a wardrobe or another place to put books. <laughs> oh my god. I, oh wow. Oh, these are beautiful. <gasps> Look at this one. Oh, the ivy. I need more ivy. But this is the first one that's popped up. Okay, right. Fairy lights, flowers, more fairy lights, orange. This is gonna look cute. So where the bed is gonna be, we're gonna need shelving right by it. And you know what? This is kind of perfect actually because of this. This mistake, which is worth it because of how cute it looks, it, it, it needs to be covered somehow. So the bed hasn't got a headboard, which I do find a little strange, won't lie. Wait, I tell the lie, it does. It's just tiny okay that's fine but there's barely any options for orange bedding this is not going well what about if we take this bed here slide it into the corner i don't know how i'm gonna cover them <laughs> i just know that there's loads of plants on here so let's see how we can make that work okay i'm loving the plant shelf it looks very nice we need one above the bed as well but i don't really have many options for plants against the wall unless we do something like this <laughs> that's a terrible idea what if we move the bed terrible idea no no absolutely not doesn't look anything like it it is literally just white bookshelves covered in plants so that's what we're gonna go for i don't know why i was struggling so much with this okay kind of loving that i just need something orange to go over here but we just don't have rugs that we can shove on there unless now this might be pushing it what if i raise up a rug this does it not work this is not working will it not show on top of the bed well that's annoying this literally would have been a perfect feature but for some reason the game won't let you raise rugs to sit on top of the bed well that's rude but you can raise dog beds <laughs> Now, is this a bit weird? I mean, will it work? What about that? Or does that just, that just looks weird, doesn't it? Ugh, I tried. I'll add an orange teddy bear. That will do. The Sims needs more orange beds. Please and thank you. Above the windows also has plants on, but not even like this, like a full on bushy plants. What I might do is if we do that, and then if I go and find a bushy plant, literally this one, if we size it down, it'll look a bit better. Do you know what? I love this so much. I would never make a bedroom like this, but it just looks so so good honestly pinterest it's the way to go if you're struggling with building but we've got literally the other side of the bedroom so i'm gonna have another look at pinterest and see what options we get god just look at how cozy and cute this is this is stunning to be honest they all have one thing in common fairy lights pumpkins orange green and a load of photos and books so yeah let's do the rest of the room like that shall we just make this into a tiny little cozy book nook i think we shall or we could add a little desk actually i don't think i've given them any hobbies other than reading because what other hobby do you need other than reading so um the bedroom is finished and i love it look how cozy and cute it is i've layered so many rugs so many candles this whole room is lit by candlelight and fairy lights like, look how cute this little book nook is you can get all your work done over there i've given them a gallery wall as well every inch of this bedroom has got something in it i yeah I love it. Even I kind of got away with the curtain situation poking through. It doesn't look that bad, does it? I think this is my fourth autumn video in a row, but I mean, I'm kind of enjoying it. So I hope you are too. I've got an exciting video coming soon. I'm going to be exploring mods again. I never use mods or custom content really. So it'll be exciting to use that again. Also, Halloween is coming up soon. I say that it's like in six weeks time, but it's coming up soon. Give this video a like, subscribe if you're new and I will see you in the next one soon.